We awoke in what was the Galactic Standard Year 2000. Thousands of us, in thousands of underground vaults, frozen in time, for unknown purposes. We awoke and were subject to medical and knowledge-based tests. We knew not where this knowledge came from. Once the tests were passed, we were allowed out onto the surface of our home. And we saw something wonderful. Something that gave us purpose. Hello all, this is D-Swank, and we're continuing with uh, the Empire of the Eternal Wheel. Sorry about that spike in volume right there. Um, oh. Let's start this again. Hello all, this is D-Swank, and I am continuing, or we are continuing, the legend, or the story, or what have you, of the Empire of the Eternal Wheel. Um, as we were left off last time, we have expanded into the area previously controlled by the Multix Galactic Combine. And we're going to end up getting rid of them. Now, my other expansion area is through here, which could become some issues for us. Uh, another thing we could do is focus on trying to uh, just control and expand all our territories in this area. I have a feeling that these factions will probably... Um, dissolve as soon as we conquer their territory so um, what well, though we can't go to war with them and probably won't be able to go to war with them for quite some time uh, as you can see these guys are the ones that I control these guys if I click on them uh, or not there, there, uh, we cannot declare war on them for quite some time. Five... Uh, actually, we can declare war on them actually fairly soon. Uh, just a few more months. <laughs> wow. So we're, we're gonna go ahead and declare war and uh, try and get as much of this territory as possible um, and just tear up as much of their stuff as possible uh, Darmara okay if I capture that I might be able to just control wow they have three planets up there this is actually a fairly well established empire here I kind of want to sweep down through here and lay siege to this area and then I can work my way up the side. I think that's how we're going to deal with them. Um, I just, I really have this desire to secure the back door of my empire. Since we're going after the, the people that these guys f support, I guess, um, or our satellites of. Uh, I don't want to be caught fighting a two-sided war. Um, and at the moment, we won't be because we're, well, um, we're, a, a, well, how do I want to phrase that? Our empire is... Well, I'm sorry, I lost train of thought. Uh, I, I am kind of just out of it. 
No, I shouldn't be when I'm recording, but still, I wanted to get something done for today. Anyway, uh, yeah, go, go upgrade. Park yourself there and upgrade. Uh, we will soon be declaring war. Uh, yes, ship's upgraded. Grab you. Send you here. Uh, you. Uh, we should probably upgrade this here. And synchronize defense. Spend some money, get that all prepped. So we can take this territory and just push our way through down here. I wonder where my other fleet is. Is it down here? Yeah, because I considered just pushing in and, like, taking this empire. Some of the smaller ones in the area. But I think I'm going to focus on the area behind my empire. First. Because I don't want to get everybody's attention, all the allies' attention, and I have them all coming at me. So. Two months on whatever this is. Extended long-range analysis theory. Okay, it's a super weapon of some sort. Or beam weapon, super beam weapon. We've got Titan Doomsday Weapons researching. Though, ultimately, what I want to do is I want to um, um, focus on securing the saying system as well. Um, I, yeah, let's upgrade those. Because, just thinking about it, I'm going to be... Uh, eventually building that the Avatar, uh, which is a actually fairly frightening uh, event event chain. Sorry, my my hickness kind of came in there. Eviant, um, which ultimately you end up with uh, quite a few. Uh, 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 enemies coming into your uh, uh, territory uh, wherever you build your your station your um, and by upgrading all of my defense all of my orbitals to some really mean stuff and then building some uh, more stations, battle fortresses uh, along with having this in system uh, will mean I will have enough uh, firepower along with my fleets of course my fleets are going to be there to defend the construction of the avatar Show. That will be how things will shake out. Hopefully. Got 12 months Titan chain, Titan modules, propaganda transmissions. Always am going to be worse researching that. Now we can go to war. Okay, what do we want? We want... Uh, Bradham. Uh, where is Bradham? Bradham, Bradham, Bradham. Seed that planet. We want... Bienis, Bienis, that planet. Uh, let's see. Pajur... That planet. 
Okay. Um, Vitacron. Where is Vidacron? Vidacron. You. And Faram. 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 And Yabaner. Can do that one. Yeah, that should get us all the way down to here. Confirm. <laughs> Goodbye. Park yourself here. And we'll bombard. Alright, you... Uh, let's go here. And... Uh, Dreadnought. Let's grab the Dreadnought. Close. What's this? Okay. Uh, let's send you here. Fleet. Yeah, we're sending that fleet across. So I have a pretty good assault group moving around right now. Where? Is it over? Uh, move in, assault that. Oh, yes, you can try and destroy us, Mutalix. And you can try and die. Honestly, your, your one fleet that I see does not scare me that much. So five months there. War should improve our happiness in general. A lot of these guys got happier. Alright. I do realize I have a slight problem in them seceding those territories and the fact that I don't have the support infrastructure for that many more worlds. So I do need to kind of focus on making sure I have these planets all prepped and ready to go. Uh, you are going to be a biolab. Biolab. Um... What am I short? Which one? Um, physics. Upgrade. Physics. Bio. Upgrade. 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 Don't have the population to upgrade there. Sulia. Let's see. Where are... There we go. Upgrade everything we can here. Um, physics or in engineering. Your engineering's higher there. Grade. Uh, physics. There we go. New research. Ew, yay. Von Neumann machine is done. Uh, nanite disassemblers. There's a lot of kind of scary researches available. Bethurian power plants. Really? I haven't researched that? Wow. Okay, let's see. Uh, da -da -da -da. Zulta Prime, that was where I just was, or was, or whatever's. And then CureLab. Upgrade you to engineering. That. That. A lot of these can't upgrade too much more until I get more 
Territory uh, Engineering and Physics and you you and you. Alright. Those are upgrading. Uh, up here. How are we doing there? Alright. Ethereum. Uh, ooh. Strikecraft upgrade. Always like that. Uh, neutronium containers, twin auto. Let's both of these. Let's go with that. I'm looking at trying to burn through some of the cheaper items now. Alright, and let's nuts. Armies. Uh yeah, we still need to bombard them for a little bit. Uh, let me see my leaders. Uh, do I have... Sp no, I do not have space to recruit a military leader yet. Mm, man, that sucks. New research, yay. Uh, psionic weapons. Uh, yeah, look, oop, somebody died. Where, where's that? Brass. Alright, uh, change. Do I have any... Yeah, you're available. Yep, govern that. Territory. That means I can now recruit... a... general. Uh, let's see. What do we have that... Uh, no, don't like that. Glory Seeker. Eh, no. That one's not too bad. Uh, Army Morale. Not fantastic. Honestly, I think I might go with this guy. No. Now where is my... Uh, army... Ooh, yay, that's researched. Um, Leviathan, yes? Yes, yes, yes. Uh... That would be helpful, though. That would be most helpful. Increase my sector count, please. Alright, you. And then... Come on. We want to land armies. Armies. See how quick this goes. Should be pretty good. Their morale's already crushed. Haha. -ha. Alright. So, um... No, you're not giving me... Everything. So, we're at war. We're, uh... Uh, well, obviously we're at war, but we're invading and trying to take as much territory from these guys as possible. Um, they keep offering us peace, but not surrendering. Um, all the planets that we said we wanted. So, we're... Uh, we're going to continue our war until that is true. Which should be... I mean, pretty soon, actually. 
Um, the Empire has continued its march. This is basically the last planet that we have to assault. Where you've uh, got even their homeworld locked down pretty tight here. And we're... What do we have here? Transport... Ew, transport fleet. Uh, run away. Yes. Get over here, please. Thank you all. Okay, we've researched the Psy Cannon. Yay! Let's see what else can we research. Um, uh, yeah, the crystal matri aiming matrix. Plan is to spend a lot of time and resources and effort upgrading or taking care of that faction or that uh, leveling up uh, leaders and things like that. So I can come in and actually upgrade all this. Please, quick, now. So these right here can best possible outcome. Yes, indeed. So we won we won that war. <laughs> well, anyway, um, I've got some leveling up of stuff there. We've got your tab over here. Which, of course, needs to be leveled and upgraded. And all of that wonderfulness do I have here. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll do that. Okay. So I have a protector protectorate oh wow where is my protectorate I wish to know uh empire I have no idea where my protectorate is I have a protectorate though um I know that sounded weird, but uh, uh, aim where? No, the other way, please. Uh, no, relative power. That's what I want. <laughs> Okay. Not aggression. Overlord of the Phosphoian. Uh, where are you? Okay, yeah, you're actually pretty close to us. We're real right, close to so y'all. I'm back. Um, <laughs> and I've captured the the territories. Um, my other um, places that I had control of. Well, they're they, there's a glitch that I'm at a point that I can get uh, with some of my research and things. And you kind of saw that just a bit ago when I was messing around. But uh, if I go infrastructure projects, surface, see if I get it? No. Some of them that will just... Um, Autocomplete 
construction as soon as I click on it. I mean, my upgrades are going incredibly fast as it is. So, uh, that's kind of good. There, I'm getting it. Like, it's, it's done. I'm done. Okay. Uh, power plant. Uh, power hub. All right. So, I took some time. I, and made sure everything, all the planets that I took, were um, upgraded and are now integrated into this sector that is controlled down here. Now while that's going on, and you notice I did leave this one open, I've got two planets here that are currently being um, terraformed to Gaia worlds. I've got these three planets here that are being terraformed into Gaia worlds. I probably should do the same here. Yeah, they're not fantastic, but... We're gonna... We're, we're gonna terraform them. Surface... So, mm, better. Into Gaia Worlds. And the next... So these are all going to become new planets for the Empire. Once they're integrated, they'll be part of this sector. And then I'm going to work my way up this sector. Space. Uh, terraforming and colonizing these worlds. Ooh. Lots of new nifty dings. Um, yeah, let's go with that. And then I'm going to do, I'll also be doing the same thing here. Um, and I'm kind of waiting on this planet to have these guys join us. Although I guess I couldn't just colonize it and say screw that but um but then go through here this area go okay that's not bad terraform see I already am doing it but work my way up this to this area same up this tree and stop somewhere in here and then turn around and take what's left of the Galactic Combine and integrate it into this sector here. And then I'll start working my way the rest of the way. This one is going to go this way to the end of this leg. And this is going to be the first sector right here. And I've, I've got to de-sector some of these, like these planets. Most of these planets I'm going to remove from sector, upgrade, and then recolonize. Um, just, or upgrade by uh, turning them into Gaia planets. And just all of these, since we have so much economy. And... I mean, I kind of, now that I've got this area semi-secure, I still want to crush them and push them out of our area. These guys I'm not that worried about because they're with the group that kind of likes us. And these guys I'm not that worried about because they're with the group that kind of likes us. That means I only have this front. And I kind of want to come in and just, I have to sweep through most of this. And then I want to take out the forerunners here. And I'll probably, yeah, this, unfortunately this group here is going to eventually be a problem. 
sweep in, take out the Forerunners, and then sweep up through the Ruparthi and crush them. But that's kind of what I'm looking at doing. Uh, the Allied fanatics are making me somewhat concerned. But at that point, we'll have control of most of the southern galaxy. And these guys will have control of most of the northern. Um, although it looks more like the Galactic League is getting eyeballed from the Athlid fanatics. And these guys aren't really doing anything. So, yeah. Um, I'm somewhat concerned when I start getting close to these guys. But, uh, I think we can take them. I think we can take them. So, um... Yeah, uh, it, this was kind of a dull episode, honestly. Um, because these guys didn't put up a, a match at all. Um, our next episode, I'm probably going to crush them again. Just keep the wars rolling. So I can just integrate as much as I can and get them gone. And hopefully get rid of this. And then we'll start looking elsewhere for a fight. So, um... Yeah, part of the reason why this was dull is everything has been a sure thing. So, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, go ahead and hit like, subscribe. Leave a comment below, tell me what you thought, and I will see you next time. Until then, buh bye bye